There are more ways to celebrate than ever before at the Jeep Celebration Event. Hurry in for great deals today on the only brand that lets you go anywhere and do anything. And now financing get $2,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee WK Laredo 4x4. Don't miss this great offer. Hurry into the Jeep Celebration Event today. Financing for qualified buyers to Chrysler Capital. Not all buyers will qualify. Residency restrictions apply. Must take retail delivery by 5 Jeep is a registered trademark. Hi there, I am Adam. Kiabas here from Turkey, uh, Ordu, uh, a small uh, uh, town in on the Black Sea region. I mean, it is cold. Differently, however, I mean we are still in the pandemic. Um, I hope that you all are doing fine. This is the second year of the pandemic, and we, of course, um, you will feel some fatigue experience some fatigue but uh, we will one day we will overcome this and then leave it behind and this will probably be an anecdote or a small anecdote in history however i mean we will continue with our hate i mean the last time we came closer to hate we talked about purpose and goal and we talked about the fact that goal a goal has always some fingers of a value something you want to have something you will you want to possess i mean this is uh, we talked about a millionaire's mindset uh, that you want to be uh, become a millionaire this is uh, some sort of your goal and this goal has of course a value in in a society in a society of us where is every where you, um, especially if you want to prove that you are a mandy, that you have to have success, that you have to afford expensive cars, expensive clothes, expensive homes, that you have to live there. This is some sort of millionaire life. This is what manliness, uh, in a way, has transformed to. We talked about it in male gender. This is some sort of a post uh, militaristic uh, gender. So, uh, you as a man, uh, or if you want some sort of business attitude, you as a man has, have to be successful, have to be um, the sole, sole provider for your wife. This is as, as well as um, still apparent, as well as that you have to be as man potent, so uh, have to have a lot of women and so on. So this is some sort of part of this millionaires or billionaires jet set or jet lag if you want uh, um, and but of course we then uh, some sort, sort of talked about antagonism and that antagonism is uh, of course the cause of the, this hot pleasure we only uh, hear um, uh, in the news especially in North America but as well as in Europe so in, in some areas uh, um, people are obviously uh, 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 do not have the uh, same opportunities, do not have equal opportunities, and this of course needs to be uh, taken care of because um, only think of the economy, everyone who has been lost, everyone who's, who, who cannot uh, fulfill uh, or find fulfillment cannot follow his dreams or, or even be a productive member of the society is a loss for the society because everyone can contribute to a society this is very important no matter where you are no matter where you come from no matter who you are you can make uh, a dent in the universe you can contribute to to society only think about frederick douglas who was a slave who was freed and is one of the most iconic iconic uh, figures in the american history Sorry, he wrote about slavery, he knew what it was to be slavery, How, however, and many, many other people for, especially if you are disadvantaged, I mean, there are a lot of people, success stories I mean, from people who started out poor and then, and then accomplished something and then wrote their names into his story, so this is, everything is possible. And we, of course, call, talked about uh, this counter culture which had its own own systems value 
stems. This is what he talked about, body positive culture. I mean, obesity was once considered as unhealthy. I mean, it is still unhealthy. Nothing has changed about it. I mean, if you're obese, and I would not say, I would say that there is a difference between obesity and chubbiness. If you're just a little bit chubby or a little bit on the bigger side, uh, yeah, this nothing wrong is just that but obesity is mean that you should uh, i would say i would say uh, double the weight uh, um, what you should have been i mean for example i am i am uh, i am one meter and uh, 80 centimeters tall five foot uh, 10 11 i don't know uh, the english but 180 centimeters i'm tall and and there you have a special uh, ratio how much weight you should have in order to to um, to be ideal ideal in, in that sense and uh, uh, um, i think it is about 80 or 90 kilograms which i sh which i should have which is ideal for me and everything what what goes beyond is actually already unhealthy and and I would call everyone obese who has for example double the the, the uh, weight he should have especially I mean uh, in my in, in my case this would be if I would have 160 kilograms of body weight this would be obese or I would consider this as obese this is this is not looking very beautiful whatever but Nevertheless, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm a, uh, I'm a little bit chubby, so so uh, uh, I have not, um, I do have not ID, ID uh, weight, whatever. However, but this is uh, a fact, and we should not deny this. So, so obesity, especially obesity, I mean, this is bad for your heart. It's bad for your, for everything. I mean, I, I my self was obese in my youth as well. so this is not nice you have uh, your uh, back ache knee ache head ache whatever it was so it is not healthy however it has created a counter culture this is what you see in social media whatever uh, and everywhere where you see that uh, uh, a way more body positive where people are way more body positive where having curves is being considered uh, more valuable and of course we will I'll talk about briefly here about uh, this 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 transformation uh, transformation of value we will talk about this in desire I, I think this belongs to desire and this is indeed very interesting but however this this some sort of inversion of 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 of, of values you can see this in this uh, body positive and this works I mean if we that on social media and so on i mean the, uh, you see all those perfect bodies you see all those women exposing their selves i mean in a way most of them have uh, a perfect bodies are attractive however and then you see those body positive models who are a um, little bit chubby um, some of them obese however but but uh, the way they are portrayed is not that um, they are primarily on the oh that this goes primarily on the body but how these uh, body p p positive women present themselves is firstly that uh, it is considered the this is the average woman this is this, this is of course true in a way because the average woman uh, is uh, I would not say obese, but it is uh, some sort of a little bit chubby. Has has uh, a little bit uh, some uh, some fat on on her hips. Mm, I mean, truth be told, if you're a woman and if if you have broad hips, this is actually uh, indeed uh, this is uh, uh, considered as attractive broad hips uh, because this is not uh, mm, something negative. However, but in this body body pose. If, uh, counter culture you see that this is rather about interior motives this is rather about about uh, mm -hmm. normal people this is how it presents themselves this is the average girl and this is not about and in 
contrast they are all these models all those thin thin uh, uh, women they are rather considered or in a way portrayed as superficial as shallow whereas this woman this average woman this is how it presents itself uh, uh, is, is down to earth that is not ashamed of who she is so, so, so here she is some sort of you want to say has a good heart has a, a good character this is how it is all presented this doesn't mean because someone is chubby because someone is obese that you w would be nice or whatever what i beg to differ there is indeed some some, some uh, people no matter what they are they are just just mean however but you will see the, the the difference the difference in that sense that people who are being considered as obese they are all always or were considered in the past as short-witted as 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 lazy as uh, as as pe people who who avoid uh, commitment or whatever who people who avoid uh, work a decent honor uh, or a decent work whatever you have it but the main predominating narrative was that these are mainly people uh, who are lazy and so on and now this has turned with this counter culture and especially there was a movie with uh, movie with i mean i don't know the name i always forget the names but there was a movie with with uh, jason statham uh, and melissa mccarthy who is obese and there she moved on the on the on the screen as if she, she would fight other people i mean course this was a stuntman and you immediately saw that this was a stuntman but however this is some sort of a fight this notion fight this uh, perception that uh, obese people are lazy and so on but as well as that obese people are short witted so this is as, as an inversion of values uh, and this derives from the fact that obese or or uh, chubby women are some sort of the average woman the the girl next door, the the woman who has a heart, who who is not superficial, and this is in contrast to to those models um, models, and this is then desirable because then if you are a man, then if you are a man, then you uh, do not go for a, a superficial woman, but rather the woman which can give you apparently full fulfillment. I mean, this is how it is presented partially as well as uh, how is, uh, this self perception is uh, especially i mean these two groups are very politicized i mean this is something you see in recent years especially with the expression of body shaming so this being considered as means uh, and only uh, people from a certain with a certain political affiliation would approve women uh, who would be uh, attractive thin e even anorexic and this is uh, this uh, political affiliation is always attributed with, with shallowness with, with, with people who are uh, superficial and, and so on and so on and then they are in contrast the one uh, the other political group always likes to portray itself in a way as close to people down to earth more more about one is more interested about character about interior uh, 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 values so this is what this is about what deeper meaning values and even love so this is how this all separate itself from each other however what we want to talk about here is this is especially hate i mean this is what we talked about is antagonism and what leads to hate and we talked about a goal a purpose instead of course goals are created to be achieved uh, this is the main idea of a goal sooner or later you want to um, accomplish that goal but with a purpose you already engage in accomplishing the this goal a 
purpose we said is about your habits i mean think about uh, being uh, uh, there are a lot of millionaires or billionaires uh, men toss out there who say to you um, you should strive for this goal for that goal whatever you have it however however but with with the, your your purpose uh, and the meaning this valuable object this goal has you actually already start partially con Assuming your 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 goal, the the value of the goal, because you assume that you will sooner or later accomplish it. Because this is what it is. You cannot pursue something like money or whatever true love, and then never find it. Because then you would not start uh, pursuing it. However, but yet it in will. Uh, Reality. This is what we talked about as well. I mean, the, especially on the social media, social media or any other virtual reality always conflicts with reality. With because you live in some sort of a closed, narrow world. Especially if you are part of a political group. Uh, in our cancel culture, you do not um, wanna be affiliated with the others. So you do not befriend others uh, and and. So on you keep away from other uh, political affiliation and uh, everything has become political uh, and and however and then and then your French f- friends uh, friendships and friend circles are very narrow so 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 they will of course push forward your again so you you will hardly hear anything which which in a way would 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 be this pleasing for you and and so on you would have to and partially to those social media groups those closed groups or what have you there partially as well as to boost your motivation but as well as keep followers together keep followers chained to each other i mean this is one of the uh, outcomes and Results of identity politics that people they do not in a way or see the world in black and white and they don't uh, do not socialize with the others uh, and so on so this means that you have only a narrow perspective you only see the world from a certain point of view and you of course will find people agreeing with you especially people f- from the same uh, social or economic background as well as from the same uh, political affiliation and this has indeed changed because uh, in, in our days it is very un, unusual that for example a millionaire or a billionaire is befriended with uh, a, a normal guy with a poor guy however so, so in that and you are partially shielded f- from it, and this, and it can be, of course, as well as survival, or in a way to, especially the counter culture. If this ca- counter culture or the values of the counter culture is in a way contested, it is. If it is ambiguous, like the, like this uh, counter culture of being body positive, I mean obesity, if it goes beyond it is unhealthy this is a fact we know this everyone wants of it uh, everyone everyone wants you, you um, and and you get obese this is for effect you get obese partially because you eat unhealthy so this is a fact and 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 uh, so it is in a way ambiguous if people then uh, present themselves in uh, being obese being unhealthy healthy and so on and and in order to shield uh, oneself from negative uh, opinions from negative or from from uh, so- social media derision and so, so on one always tries to shield oneself from 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 from, from, from certain um, influences from certain people so so you are always surrounded by people who are 
prove what you are doing. That's why this is another reason why social media is so addictive because because you mostly are with your friends and those friends if 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 you they partially follow you. I mean, if you are a friend and if you if you are uh, for, for example, if you have a friend who is obese, you maybe say to him or her that he or she should be careful and take care of them. But if this friend uh, in, insists on the, the fact that obesity is good, is positive, whatever, I mean, it is not very likely that you will say something against it, even though if you know it's not good for, for your friend's health, so you would be cautious. So this is, in a way, another thing where social media, in a way, is... is from reality and then of course every time when this open a person meets people in reality who then look at uh, his or her obesity in a derogatory way or even ridiculous so then she needs some sort of motivation some sort of self-esteem uh, or build up their self-esteem and that's why she needs oh, she or her she or him uh, she or he needs then a social media to boost their morale and so on. I mean, this is understandable. In some instances, I mean, but don't get me wrong, there are of course one instance, instances we talked about, uh, this is where counter culture maybe uh, is, is something you have to consider as very positive. This is what I wanted to say as well. So uh, if we talk about counter culture, this does not mean that we see every counter or that I see every counter culture as negative, not at all. Only think about uh, black is beautiful, beautiful. This, this movement in the US uh, beginning with the civil rights movement, so this was uh, a very positive counter culture and which embraced blackness. And it's <coughs> in its whole, which before then was considered as negative, as uh, was derided and so on, even to this very day, there is, <coughs> excuse me, there is a, a sort of derision and prejudice against black people. It starts from black uh, being ugly or or whatever, and and this counter culture uh, raised. Uh, in a way, uh, more self-awareness and was actually, in, in a way, uh, very positive for black uh, uh, identity and black um, development of, uh, of, uh, of black identity. And you can then see in rap culture the, uh, where it is partially uh, then taken into. However, uh, there are counter culture. It is not only in our uh, recent history, or if you want to stay with counter culture, this as well as in Austria, as well as in Germany. I mean, this is especially among Middle Eastern um, migrants. I mean, Islam is derided, Islam is pretty much hated, and there, of course, you need the counter culture to mitigate the hate and in Packed of, of, of this host culture of other cultures, whatever. I mean, if you hear every time that uh, Islam would be a threat and so on, of course you need uh, some sort of protect yourself from this notion because it is not only um, it is not only one political group, whatever. This is always a lot of people believe this. However, but uh, in, in general, so this does, this does not mean that counter culture is bad. Now it can lead to a lot of extremism. This is another thing we have to consider. And this is then on, on our pathway to understand hate. And this hate is, of course, what we said here. And this is what you have to understand, or what we try to understand in our arguing so far. This is what we assume again. This is, I don't know. The, claim full full uh, knowledge so on we are inquiring this issue in a way in a social philosophical approach and there we said uh, said uh, that uh, uh, according to uh, to uh, uh, 
definition. We start out with fear, and then we came to hate, and so on. So, and of course, we have talked about antagonism. We talked about that it is necessary, and then of course, every goal, every purpose has, in a way or another, the implication that you will reach this goal eventually because you you have already started consuming it i mean this is how you your billionaire millionaire might mindset which is proper gated on the social media and you already started aligning your self with other people i mean i have not quite understood what this is all about i mean if you want to emulate bill gates then it is uh, um, i would say or if you want to emulate Steve Jobs or all those billion billionaires lifestyle, it is uh, partially maybe you should not uh, emulate their habits, but uh, rather try to understand why they were mm, so smart or what did they invent and so on. However, however, and and there of course you assume in a way or another that you will succeed. This is what this is all about: succeed, and then what? What leads to fear, the, the fear or is of course understandable is that you do not succeed and that all this purpose is in vain because because being a, being, being a social outcast, being, being a, or having to live in the social periphery was the main reason or one of the reasons why you have created or took part in this counter culture which then gave you meaning which boosted your morale which boosted your understanding and then of course the content culture had had as well as its values which is uh, uh, partially the, the same as the majority culture however being successful i mean this is with obese women as well i mean uh, the 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 goal there is being accepted this is what this is uh, this is about so if you're uh, obese body positive you want to have uh, be accepted but as well as you want to get likes like all these super models as well so so this is in the end it is mm, you could say partially about physical appearance as well because well, how can you see someone's good heart if, if you have only a photo i mean it won't uh, make a change if this person holds a heart in your hand or, or love or whatever it is. I mean, this is what this is all about. So you, in the end, it, it stays and remains physical. However, but what you do if you cannot succeed, if, if the gap between reality and and fiction is just too, too wide, this is what you saw in the Black Lives Matters movement i mean this is indeed understandable that this is indeed understandable people are obviously disadvantaged i mean this is of, of course you have to be aware of one thing and this is for a fact as well i mean with all these movements there are uh, the clear percentage is never or you never really know how much the clear percentage really is because this is what you would need statistics for but one thing is true there's always a considerable amount or a percent catch of people whose demand is justified people who live in hoods people who live in bad areas or, or in very poor areas that they have uh, bad schools uh, less opportunities however this is always a, always a fact but then of course with those movements with black lives matter, matter movements a lot of people you could say they are opportunistic they uh, want to be in the center or they in a way or always uh, want to protest against something and they always pray pray on those movements in a way i mean this is what you saw then where things become violent people who are not really interested in in, in accomplishing anything but just this Destroying anything. These are the people who mostly are not really uh, those people who live in these poor areas. No, they are upper, upper twenties to only seek for an opportunity to destroy something to be in the center of all attention and 
so on and so on. So uh, and this happens with every social movement and these developments in these social movements they destroy the so this social movement or the idea behind it because even though it is uh, reasonable it is uh, it is understandable that people feel mad about being being disadvantaged but then uh, a lot of people take part in this protest stores where you have to ask yourself are these people really uh, fighting f for the cause or just for them and I know that because I have met in Austria uh, some people of this protesto culture and you could see, I mean, these people, they are not interested in any goal whatsoever. They just want to smash things. They just want to destroy things. They just want to get the record mission for being against the system. I mean, this is some sort of bad apples who always intermingle with people who have actu actually honest demands who who have understandable demands who have rightful demands for more e equality who openly and right fully speak out against in in justice i mean this is what human history is about i mean against in in justice this is what his his human history and revolutions were about that they spoke up uh, against in Justice, but but this happened always with with with, uh, with the notion that you want to accomplish something and not just destroy something. Uh, so, so that is the main difference. However, but in a way, it signifies one thing, and this is that what you do when you cannot accomplish anything anymore. So when when the the, the goal you will seek for, and this would be successful. This would be as a man, as a man, if you cannot accomplish anything anymore or if you barred from 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 being this this uh, role model what uh, is still ex existent in the male gender that you have to be this man or whatever that you have this man successful that you have to take care of your wife what you do if you cannot accomplish this anymore of course this leads to hate this is when when anter antagonism cannot heal your wound of being excluded because anti antagonism uh, help you in a way to survive this is some mental survival for you that you can some sort of reverse those negative values i mean all if everyone talks about you that's that uh, turkish migrants are despicable or whatever that they would not country put to society in any sense whatever and then you with this counter culture try to reverse some of these negative impact, impact in putting themselves on a moral high uh, high ground whatever and this would then mean would that mean and what then happen i mean to me as well but what is when this uh, this counter culture or the values uh, in this counter culture are disrupted this was the case when my older when my older brother in dash came out as a transsexual i mean this is this was a huge disaster especially in europe as well as in turkey people went nuts how could this happen because now this is about uh, our owner this is about this incident so on so this uh, had indeed a huge impact. I mean, it was partially as well as uh, uh, I talked about it as well. It was treated badly by everyone who was involved in this, um, and this was uh, the reason for, for it. But, but of course, as well as in other reasons. I mean, if you only see and hear in rap videos, I mean, those hard, to, hard to core circumstances which are being told us there and then you somehow can make it through the hoods and of, of course you want to be successful i mean you just you, you don't want to be just this hood just this guy or hustler from the hood and you want to accomplish something you want to do something and then and then of course you have to ask yeah, what is it when you cannot accomplish it i mean or when the value system because no matter whether it is a counter culture or not 
is counter culture still puts on your pressure i mean in the hoods would this would be being hardcore being be being manly being tough but yet this is very important yet still be successful because this is what this is being uh, this is what you see in the rap videos as well because manliness it is um in one hand it is about survival but in the in the other it is that this manliness leads to success and this is in contrast to to those uh, white folks white people who have all those privileges this is what they assume uh, and those privileges then would make them weak however but uh, their success in that sense does not mean anything because it is uh, 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 that weak people through privileges have accomplished this and that so so this is what the, those rap videos are aiming at as well but however even though you grew up in the hoods or whatever but survival alone survival alone is not make it this is what you well at least i mean again again i have to repeat this again i have no idea what the hood is all about i have i grew up in rural austria so i'm i'm not speaking f from my own experience i'm i'm just speaking about rap videos and um, so to make that clear this is not my experience this is what is seen in the media as, a, as well as in rap videos and so in enter entertainment so this is another factor that this hood if its circumstances or circumstances has has become some sort of a means for enter, entertainment but as well as if uh, to to make business of i mean this is your dress how you dress this chains whatever you have it. Uh, however but again this puts uh pressure on you to succeed and what you do if you cannot succeed i mean this is this is then of course you have to ask yourself i mean this is your own counter culture this belongs to you this is part of your your identity your culture and you and one might assume yeah you cannot fail there i mean how can you fail at something which actually help to boost your morale which keeps you help to 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 appreciate what you are and so on but yes of course you can fail and this is that you cannot for example be this tough guy because for example does it is it suitable for a tough guy to to to, to weep is it suitable to care for children or whatever you is i mean is this manly is this feminine and this is one part of it i mean of course being the man uh, or if you assume that you always have to be the man or whatever this always implies that you have to uh, that you are not diminished or that you have to take care of people who do not diminish you i mean this is indeed some sort of a constant assertion because you are not tough at once this is what those rap videos uh, partially tell you you live in constant fear you live in constant threat this is either the police or other facts who wanna get a piece of you so you will live in constant um, uh, circumstances i mean if you know a little bit of uh anthropology then you would say this is about ancient cultures about ancient uh, uh, societies with one male dominant male who dominates some so, sort of the entire group i mean this is uh, of course protection in a way uh, you will apparently i mean again i don't know apparently you will you need this kind of protection to survive in the hood so, so like like organized crime this is partially about survival in i mean if you live in sicily then you better be be part of the part of it and not against it uh however but he can see that you still need to be successful and of course success then means in the means in the hoods that you will show off the, that you can show your success because this is what this is all about this is how you can compete with white men who have all these privileges this is what you uh, i mean see partially in those rap videos that i have that where they where people sing about that they have anything they have they have they have achieved uh, they are the 
uh, everyone asks them for uh, for guidance. They have money. They have influence. This is what they all dream of. Some sort of uh, the pater familias in that sense. And this is still about assertion, about uh, dominance, as, 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 asserting yourself. And this is not different from the white culture. I mean, the white culture. They, they may don't do it through open aggression. They consider them um, as more civilized. But however, in the white culture, this happens through aggression as well, verbal aggression, but as well as through, through, through kicking out other people from niches and so on. So, so, so this is quite similar to the white culture. And then you fail in this. Of course, this is what you see among white people are as well. I mean, what I experienced in Austria for year, for example, I mean, if you grow your entire uh, life, if you grow up in the notion that Austrians or Germans are superior to everyone, that Middle Eastern uh, people are dumb, are stupid, whatever, so, so, in a way that you can offset this, and, and then if you grow up your life that you be, be, would be superior than others, but then, then the, uh, the, this some sort of conflict with reality, then, for example, that Middle Eastern men are doing better than you, than expected, or even are do, doing better than you, then people get extremely agitated. This is what I experienced from my own, own perception, especially in the university, so this was not just uh, outside of the university, this was in the university and by the left, so those people who actually should know better, however, and then you could see this leads to a lot of resentment, to a lot of hate. Why? Because they cannot maintain this identity of being superior anymore. They cannot maintain a, a, a positive self-feeling, positive self-love and so on, and this is as well as you see in the counter culture. Uh, it has a, uh, a value system with the goal of being successful, or that you some sort of invert success with this positive body culture. This means uh, this means that your obese or chubby body is approved and liked by by people on social media. This is actually the success, and then because of your inner values whatever it is of your character traits, which you have some sort of an uh, over edge uh, 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 over those so-called shallow models or perceived shallow models so that you can uh, outpace them, outgrow them and, and uh, you know, or outsmart them, whatever you have it. And then you are some sort of better off or at least equal equal to their accomplishment and then these all crumbs they're what crumbs the the perception that you are could be successful this crumbs or that if you have obstacles in your way which bar you from this success I mean, which bar you of uh, bar you of, of getting the 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 the, the, the grand chief um, uh, in your hood or getting you the biggest uh, shot on on social media or whatever i mean this uh, then this of course leads to hate i mean if there is no more way you can go well no more way you, you can improve your self and then hate is that you cannot fulfill <coughs> pardon me that you cannot fulfill this goal that you cannot reach this goal uh, where it is material, where it is on social media, so that it allows you to be equal, so, so and uh, that it allows you to some sort of uh, transform this pleasure where, from which this antagonism anti, anti started to pleasure, to positive self-esteem. Um, but then, of course, hate, again, it is not about the system because you still need the system for your identity, your antagonism anti for identity, no hate is then goes then to the other person, to the other individual which then is being either has, has more 
privileges or, or anything which then bars you from su uh, succeeding at this goal. However, uh, we will talk about it uh, next time more in detail. This will then be the last uh, on head, the last episode on head. This was Adam Tiebos from Ordu in Turkey. I hope that you all are doing fine in this pan pan gaming and that you take care of yourself. Bye. There are more ways to celebrate than ever before at the Jeep Celebration event. Hurry in for great deals today on the only brand that lets you go anywhere and do anything. And right now, get $1,500 total cash allowance on the purchase of a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4. Don't miss this great offer. Go to Jeep.com to find your local dealer. Hurry into the Jeep Celebration event today. Residency restrictions apply. Must take retail delivery by 5 Jeep is a registered trademark of FCA US LLC.